I'm Mark Capel, and this is a BAM Credit Insights video for the successor agency for the El Cajon Redevelopment Agency, which is selling $36.5 million of tax increment refunding bonds. The bonds will be rated AA with a stable outlook by S&P Global Ratings due to Build America Mutual's guarantee and carry an underlying rating of single A+, also from S&P. The bonds are secured by incremental property tax revenues collected within a 1,548-acre project area within the city of El Cajon, which is located immediately northeast of the city of San Diego. The pledged tax increment revenues are net of certain administrative fees and senior obligations. The incremental property value in the project area totals $1.88 billion in fiscal 2018 and proved to be resilient through the most recent recession. The current level of incremental tax revenues is sufficient to cover more than two times the maximum annual debt service on the agency's total debt. That stability and healthy debt service coverage mitigate the fact that more than half of the project area's property tax base consists of commercial or industrial properties whose value can be more volatile than residential development. The largest taxpayer accounts for more than 12% of the assessed value within the project area. To further evaluate that risk, my colleague Alex Weissman conducted various stress tests, including one showing that debt service coverage should remain healthy even if the revenues from the largest taxpayer were completely removed. Legally, the bonds follow the typical structure of California RDA successor agency transactions which were created when the state decided to wind down the RDA programs pursuant to the 2012 Dissolution Act. The successor agencies, like the successor agency for the El Cajon Redevelopment Agency, were created to manage the outstanding obligations of the RDAs, including repaying their debt. Following the Dissolution Act, bond offerings like this one may only be sold to refinance existing bonds to generate savings. And as a result of the recent amendments to the Dissolution Act, there is no time limit on the collections of the incremental tax revenues to pay the bonds. Ultimately, BAM's credit committee voted unanimously to ensure the refunding bonds for the successor agency for the El Cajon Redevelopment Agency because of the large and stable property tax base securing the debt and the solid legal structure for California successor agency transactions, including a prohibition on additional new money debt. An official statement with complete information about the transaction is available. For more information about BAM or our analysis of this credit, please email us at creditinsights at buildamerica.com.